Welcome to Pineapple Papers and the School Memories video hop. I'm super excited to join these wonderfully talented YouTubers and get those school memories scrapped. So I only have one school picture left of my daughter from spring. <clears throat> and so this was what I used for my jumping off point. So they had them hold these little chalkboard pieces and write their name. So when I saw this picture, I immediately thought of this piece of paper from Paige Evans, Pick Me Up Collection number 19, with all of the frames. So I knew I wanted to use that. And then I knew that I wanted to either back it or ground it or something with black because of the chalkboard. <clears throat> so... I went in my stash and found this quick quotes piece of paper called Simple Elegance. So I plan on using this side. So that was the initial. And then I was like, okay, so I need some sort of papers for backing my photo. And I decided to stick with Pink Paisley. I don't have the Pick Me Up collection, but I do have the Turn the Page collection. So this is what I pulled for paper. So that's all I have for paper. So then embellishments, I did pull what I had from the Turn the Page collection. So I have the chipboard thickers, I have the wood veneer pieces, and the ephemera pack. Then I was thinking, okay, so now I need to bring in something school-like. Most of my, I try not to do super themey things, but I do want, because it's just a picture and she's not in her school uniform, I do want to make note that this is a school picture. So I have this cute little apple, and I'm not really sure where it's from. And then from me and my big ideas, I have this third grade piece. And I will probably pull off that red, because there's not a ton of like that bright red in here but I think some of the other colors will work and I'll probably cover up that little girl there. And then from Jolie, I have these cute little layered stickers. So that's how I'm pulling in the school theme. And then I also pulled in these epoxy metal clips from Carpe Diem Domestic Bliss especially really like the one with the little girl on it. So that's my idea for that. And then, so I was thinking of all the collections I have, and of course my brain automatically goes to Maggie Holmes because I'm pretty obsessed. But I was thinking open book would be good because of all the books with um, the school theme. So trying to think outside of the box, but still keep it in the school theme. So I pulled the chipboard piece and I have a new obsession with Spiegel Mom Scraps sequins. So I pulled this one in Rustic Retreat and I pulled my jar of, I forget what they're called. They're some type of flower, resin, resin flowers. And I'm gonna put it on my desk and maybe I will get some of those on the page. So let's get started. Okay, so my original plan is to cut down this paper from Pink Paisley and basically back it. But then it was going to cut some of the frames funny. And I didn't want partial frames on two sides of the layout. So I decided to flip flop it and then I'm thinking, okay, so I want the back to be semi prominent. And so I cut it probably to maybe a six by 12, maybe even a little bit larger, but I will kind of tone that down a little bit. So I went ahead and pulled some of the papers from the six by six pad and I am going to use those to map my photo and to create some banners. So I decide on the multicolor flowers to back my picture. 
and then take the yellow and the blue and the pink to make the banners. So the third grade up there at the top, I already pulled that little heart from the open book chipboard and put it right over that little stick figure person there at the end. And that way I remember that's kind of how I want that. And I pulled the clip out knowing that I wanted to get her on. Now, when I go to put that third grade piece down at the bottom, I realize that the blue that surrounds it is just, it's not the right blue. So I just trim all of the edges of the blue off and I'm going to back it in the same pink paper that is in one of the banners. And then I feel like it coordinates well. Now, these are super cute layered pieces and I knew that one of them would fit super nicely in one of those frames. But then I remembered I had this stack of books from the chipboard collection of Open Book and wanted to get those layered on there as well. That apple die cut piece, that's where I'm going to actually put my journaling, which this layout amazingly gets journaling. And then the chipboard sheet has a three on it, so I pulled that off as well. I thought that would be perfect, but I don't end up using that because the colors are, they're much deeper in color, so it's more of like a burgundy and a dark green, where I feel like the colors that I have going on are a little more pastel. So I do end up taking that off and leaving it off. I do kind of leave it to the side and kind of think about it for a long time. And then I pull out these beautiful sequins and I'm going to put those in three areas. I'm going to put them on the books. I'm going to put them by the one, two, three and on the apple as well. Then there is a little chipboard heart and that comes from the chipboard sticker sheet. And that will stay, and I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything else I needed. I decided to pull another heart, so then I have a heart in three places. And I'm just going to glue down my sequins. So make sure you check out the description box below and hop along with us, because this is a super fun series that Christina put together, and I can't wait to see what everybody else makes. And I hope that this is encouraging you to... Get those kids' school photos out that are sometimes a little hard to scrap and use some items that are not completely school-related, but mix them with the school stuff. So remember to wear your crown, and we'll see you next time.